Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been it's been a little while since my last video. I know it's been a really long time. Trust me you guys, it is my goal to start making more consistent videos. That's what I foresee happening, but it's just, I've just had a lot going on lately. I didn't have a table for a little while, so I had nothing to film with. Is that that's just a really bad excuse but yeah that is my goal to film more consistent videos but I guess you guys don't care about any of this because you're probably here to watch what I got from my Sephora VIB haul I picked up a couple of things yesterday and maybe some things online I don't have the best memory in the world but if you guys want to see what I got from the see what I got from the Sephora VIB sale haul, then please keep on watching. This was probably the worst intro of life. Alrighty, so let alrighty. Wow, I really am getting old. Um, so the first product I'm going to talk about is the one I'm actually wearing right now on my lips. This is the new product from Buxom. It's the Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick. So it's just like a really, really pigmented gloss and I have some feelings about this. Um, first of all, I had to tape my intro three times because I had lipstick on my teeth just checking but yeah it just keeps getting on my teeth so that's a little bit annoying second of all this color which is pretty dark was very hard to put on and get really sharp lines in the end I just had to like fuzz out the edges because I just couldn't get them crisp and straight so maybe if you went for a nude it might work better but just know it does transfer um, like yeah and it does smudge. It's all over my hands right now just for me trying to put it on my lips. So I like the idea of this. I like the idea of a shiny liquid lipstick, but I don't think that it's really functional. I want to try a different color, but this one I'm not too, too sure about. Okay, next product. Literally, who has has not been talking about this product. Literally everybody I watch has mentioned this next product. That's the Anastasia and Reezy Highlight. Um, this is such a beautiful gold color. I feel like it would really go well with my skin tone, which is a little bit like, I feel like my skin tone is kind of similar to Anne Reezy maybe a little bit lighter but anyway I think it would actually look nice on everyone everyone of every skin tone I've seen put this highlighter on it looks beautiful on them but this is what it looks like it is just so pretty and it's really jam-packed in there and when you press down on it it's like it's very airy it almost feels like a gel which is really it's which is really really cool but that's the highlight there. It's just such a beautiful gold color. I cannot wait to use this product. Um, I'm pretty sure it is limited edition, so if you're interested, go pick it up right now. Right now. Um, I am going to do a full face using all of these products. I'm not going to use it till then because, because that's how much I love you guys. But yeah, so you guys will see it in action on my skin um, probably in the next video. So yeah, that's the Amrezy highlight. Okay, so the next product I picked up is the Lancome Skin Feels Good um, Hydrating Skin Tint. Um, I was really interested in this because I don't like full coverage foundations. They just, ooh, where is this? dog barking very loudly in the hall but yeah um full coverage foundations especially matte ones just look really bad on my skin like my skin does not look good when there's foundation on it 
no matter what I do. So that's why I opt for very little coverage to medium coverage products or BB cream, CC cream, stuff like that. I just don't like using full coverage foundations on my face. And this is not a foundation. Um, this is act Ooh, rude. Um, this is actually a skin tint, but it has a little bit more coverage than, say, the glossier skin tint. There's also the one from Milk Makeup. They have a skin tint as well. This has more coverage than both of those, but it's still very, very light. This is very moisturizing. It sits on the skin beautifully. Um, this I haven't tried actually this color. I bought this. A while ago and the color was just way too dark on me but the product looked beautiful like it didn't settle into any of my dry patches that's a really really big thing for me so yeah I'm really excited to start using this product I haven't used this color yet I'm gonna use it in my next video but yeah it's just like a skin tint this is the packaging and it comes in a pump, which is really nice, and it does have SPF, so if you like wearing SPF during the day, this is a good option. Okay, my next product, I got two of the Fenty Beauty lipsticks. I've tried one of them, and you guys, these are amazing. They are very, very, very pigmented, one swipe, but they're and they're matte, but the thing is, they are so comfortable and so moisturizing like it it's shocking i'm not even being dramatic like they're that good i went to a wedding a couple of weeks ago and on my lips i used a nude sticks lip stain so they have their magnetic matte lip i'm not talking about that and then they, they have their like cheek gel i'm not talking about that they have another product that's a lip stain I put that on first of all it was it hurt my lips like it was tingling but in a very uncomfortable way but the worst part was that stuff was so drying it crumbled everywhere and so I had to take it off because it was so uncomfortable it crumbled everywhere I had to go to the washroom and take it off and my lips were so dry afterwards I had no lip balm I didn't know what to do because I don't want to put another lipstick on dry lips, but I went in with this and it was like putting on a matte pigmented lip balm. It was so moisturizing. It saved the day for me and I am in love. Um, I have two colors. I have the Candy Venom and Spiced. So let me show you. And the packaging of these are really, really cute. They're, it's very slim. So there's this one. This is the more nudie one. I haven't tried it yet, but did you see? Like, that pigment is freaking from another world. Okay, so this is Candy Venom. This is the one I wore at the wedding, and this is a beautiful, vibrant, vibrant pink. Oh, so pretty. Next product you've probably seen circulating around YouTube right now. All your favorite beauty gurus have probably used it in a tutorial. That is the Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. I had to pick this up. This looks so beautiful. It's such a cohesive palette. I know people are going to think, oh, maybe it's just another neutrals, but it's just so well done. It's such a good everyday palette. Um... Oh, the packaging is beautiful. This is what it looks like inside. Ooh, that's the brush. Yeah, so I'm sure you guys have seen it around YouTube, but this is, it's just beautiful. I love it. I'm going to be using it in my next video, like I keep saying. But yeah, that is the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. This next product looks so beautiful on everyone that tries it that I had to pick it up. This is one of the new NARS highlighters. Oh, these are beautiful. I got the color Fort de France. Um, they have like a little Capri, I believe, which is a little more pinky. They have Albatross, which is more white gold. And then they have a fourth one that's a little bit darker. I went with um, like the more champagne colored one and 
nobody does packaging like NARS. I mean, look at that packaging. It is stunning. And this is the highlighter. This is the least chunky, glittery highlighter I have seen in my life. It's literally just gloss. That's what it looks like on the skin. It's so beautiful. Like, it has no glitter in it. It is so smooth. Oh my god, like I cannot wait to use this. You can see it's really subtle, but you're able to build it up. And the formula, it's so like soft that it just melts into the skin. It becomes one with the skin. So it truly looks like just a sheen on your face when you turn your head. I mean, they did this product really, really well, and I'm so happy I picked it up. Okay, so I picked up a brow product from Benefit. I actually haven't bought any of the Benefit brow products since they revamped their whole brow collection. I was sent one by Influencer, the Cabrow, which is more of a pomade, but I really wanted to try the Gimme Brow again because I used to try it in the old formula all the time and loved it. And this is just such an easy product. Like, if your brows are pretty full already and you just have to fill in little sections, that's um, what I have to do. I just have to fill in the ends a little bit and the front a little bit. But this kind of does it for you, which is really nice. I got the shade 3. I wasn't sure if I should get the darkest one, but I, I thought maybe the darkest one would look too harsh. But it's just a tiny little product like this and... It has such a tiny, tiny, tiny little wand. And you just go and take it like this and it makes your hair stand straight, but it also fills in your sparse areas. It's such an easy product to use. I love it. And yeah, I keep licking my teeth like that, if you guys notice, because I'm so scared that I'm going to go to edit this video and I've had lipstick on my teeth the whole time. Okay, so my next product is by Bare Minerals. This is their new full coverage concealer. This is what I look, not what I look like. This is what this looks like. Um, so it's just a stick concealer. I'm a little nervous to use this because stick products have a lot of wax in them to keep them in this shape and this form. So they tend to be a lot thicker, but I really like Bare Minerals, so I wanted to give it a try just to like, you know, try on my under eyes down the center of my face. If you don't like a heavy feeling under your eyes like me, um, what you can do is warm it up and then put it on with a brush or you could just use it to spot conceal. Um, I'm going to try it out again in the next video and we will find out together if it works or not. My under eyes are very, very dry so... I don't know how that's going to go, but we shall see. Okay, so last but not least, I picked up a Whey product. This is the, is that how you say it? Whey? Quay? Whey. Memory Mist. And I got this because um, my hair is very, very, very thin and it doesn't hold curls. Like, if I curl my hair within a couple of hours, it's going to be straight again. It's the most frustrating thing. I've tried everything and everything, and it just doesn't work. But I've heard a lot of, a lot of good things about this, especially from people that have hair similar to mine. This is supposed to memorize the shape or of your hair or something like that, and it's supposed to keep that shape until your next shampoo so that sounds amazing to me these products smell so so good so i'm gonna give it a try and then i'll let you guys know if it actually works or not okay you guys so that was my sephora vib sale haul thank you so much for sticking with me till the end of the video you are awesome and i really really hope that you guys will like and subscribe if you liked this video, even if you didn't like it, like and subscribe. And I will see all of you guys in the next one, which I hope will be very, very soon. Bye, guys.